raise this a little bit. It's kind of. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jamie Crabb. I'm from Ogallala. I'm a junior at Ogallala High School. And my poem is called Competitions. Competitions are so weird to me. They present to me ambivalence, emotions of hope, excitement, anger, and fear. Crazy that millions will despise each other over a football game. Although it's not always huge events, sweet things like apple pies or gardens turn into competitions that always leave someone hurt. Who has the loveliest flowers or the tastiest dessert? Why can't we admire all? Instead, we raise one to great heights and dig the rest into a hole. In order to avoid falling aimlessly, we must resort to the poisonous, competitive mindset. We are supposed to hate the opposing team with so much intensity. People will get injured in a game and it just gets shrugged off. It becomes morally acceptable to shove someone and cause suffering to the player, the human. The audience isn't safe either. In the bleachers, a war takes place. A 65-year-old screams at 16-year-olds. A section of adults wave as a kid wearing a different colored piece of fabric walks off the floor crying. Their four-year-old children join in, but none of the parents tell them to stop. The bench warmer becomes insecure about their weight and their haircut because of the student section. And the referee goes home to his family and tries to hide his fear after receiving a death threat. I see my own teammates temporarily hate each other for mistakes committed, causing separation and discord. But we all must be having fun, right? Because competitions are so entertaining. People think we've completely progressed from the Colosseum, killing people for sport and fun when now we do it to children emotionally. The only emotion I felt this season was uncertainty. Uncertainty in the people that surround me. My team supports and loves me. But I am certain that if I played for another team, many wouldn't flinch if they caused me to fall to the ground, pain enveloping my body. My old friends might laugh, while the side that used to bully me would cry. I see what competitions are capable of, yet I can't stop myself from joining the insanity. The opposing face in front of me grows shadows, even in a place where only the sun should shine. How that is possible, I do not know. How we pick and choose who is worthy of consideration and compassion, I cannot comprehend. What I do know is that competitions make me feel Weird.